This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performance does not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk and there's always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. This is the JDFN Market Wrap. This is the James Dix Market Wrap. I'm Jack Lott here on a Monday. According to President-elect Obama, the economy is not going to immediately recover when he takes his oath of office, but he has a plan to get the country moving again. Obama introduced a recovery plan equal to the task, as he put it, that would be the largest public work spending program since the interstate highway system was built a half century ago. Congressional Democrats in the White House reportedly agreed on the broad outlines of a deal to rescue the failing U.S. auto industry as lawmakers and officials weighed in on the plan over the weekend. Dow Chemical expects to take a $700 million charge in the fourth quarter for restructuring, including severance packages for the elimination of 5,000 full-time jobs. Also, 3M companies cut its full-year forecast following a sharp sales decline and reduced its workforce by nearly 2%. The company said it dismissed nearly 1,800 workers as its organic volume in the current quarter fell 10%. And UBS may announce as many as 4,500 more job cuts in the coming weeks. Since the summer of 2007, UBS has already slashed about 9,000 jobs. There's trouble at this, uh, some of the nation's major newspapers today. The New York Times plans to borrow up to $225 million against its mid-Manhattan headquarters building to ease a potential cash flow squeeze. Tribune Company, the owner of the Los Angeles Times, Chicago Tribune, as well as the Chicago Cubs and Wrigley Field, has hired financial advisors ahead of a possible filing for bankruptcy court protection. And McClatchy Company is said to be exploring the sale of the Miami Herald, one of the chain's largest and best-known newspapers. Merrill Lynch Chief Executive John Thane has suggested to directors that he get a 2008 bonus of as much as $10 million, but the company's compensation committee is resisting that request. And the Walt Disney Company announced one of its units will buy outstanding shares of Jetix Europe, NV. That's a European children's media company. Economic reports for tomorrow, there's only one big one. That's the pending home sales report for October. Earnings, McDonald's reporting same-store sales at stores open at least a year rose 4.5%. Blythe reported a loss of 93 cents for the uh, third quarter, ended October 31st, that from 17 cents last year. MedLife said its fourth quarter and 2009 operating results will fall short of analyst expectations because of a sharp decline in variable investment income and continued weakening of the equity markets. And Comtech Telecom reporting its profit rose 52 percent to $22.4 million or 80 cents a share. Analysts were looking for much more modest 54 cents a share. Earnings on Tuesday include Cooper Companies, Kroger, AutoZone, ADC Telecom, Paul Company, Rex Stores, Pep Boys, and Vail Resorts. Some of the stocks in the news today. FedEx will lift rates for FedEx Freight 5.7% on January 5th. Boeing's Engineers Union at its Wichita, Kansas plant said the company recessed contract talks and did not say when they'd resume. Unisys board approved a reverse stock split to regain compliance with the New York Stock Exchange listing rules. And that's the Market Wrap. I'm Jack Lott on a Monday here on the James Dix Financial Network.